I'm not currently pregnant and my youngest is four, but I need to clear up some cloth diapering misinformation that I've seen circulating on my FYEP page. Why am I getting served cloth diapering content? I do not know. Here are a few things that some people in the community don't want you to know about cloth diapering. Number one, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can be a part-time cloth diaperer. Like only use one when it's convenient for you. So like, let's say you have one cloth diaper that you pay 20 bucks for, okay? And you only use that cloth diaper once a day, rinse it out at the end of the day, stick it in with your regular wash, wash it like normal. Maybe the baby pees every day before nursery and you know that diaper is not gonna last long anyway. So you just do it then when it's super convenient for you. If you do that, it's not gonna be that much extra work for you and you are going to save 730 diapers from ending up in the dump over the course of the average of two years that it takes before a child is potty trained. If your kid's not potty trained by two, that's, that's not a problem. I'm just saying that like you can expect, generally it's surprising if a kid is potty trained before two. Just doing that one cloth diaper per day will save you an average of $250 Canadian over the course of those two years, depending on the brand that you buy. Something that really stressed me about cloth diapering before I started was I was hearing all of these women on these blogs talking about how you have to strip these cloth diapers every few months, talking about how you have to use a special homemade detergent, and talking to a bunch of other moms, it turns out that it's usually the ones that use that fancy homemade detergent that have to strip them regularly because it doesn't clean the diapers as well as just scent-free Tide or whatever brand you like to use would. I quickly found out that cloth diapering and just throwing the diapers in with our regular detergent was the most effective way for them to come out clean. And then if you can dry them in the sun, on like a clothesline, oh, you'll be golden. That is the best way to get rid of stains and also odors and just kill the bacteria. The sun is your friend if you're cloth diapering. Having a one size fits all cloth diaper in your stash is also good for people that are terribly forgetful. My husband and I both on more than one occasion didn't notice that the diapers were running out and had to rely on cloth diapers just because we'd been forgetful and it was like 2 a.m. and we couldn't just run to the store to buy a new pack of diapers and didn't really want to. So it also enabled us to be a little bit lazier. If you're on the fence about trying them, I would recommend only buying like one or two in the beginning, seeing how you get on using those one or two throughout the week. And if you really enjoy using them, then add more to your collection. But I also know a lot of women, <laughs> including a sister-in-law that I love dearly, who bought like enough for the for child's first two years. My sister-in-law spent over 500 euros on cloth diapers, only to discover after a couple of months that she hated doing it and those all ended up not ever being used again, which was unfortunate. Every family has to make the decision that's right for them, but I hope that helps you feel a little bit less nervous if you do want to do it, but it just sounds so overwhelming. It doesn't have to be full-time.